Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com. Ask Amy, an advice column. Who cares about the answer? I only care about the question. I've got my own advice for this slut, this whore, this lying bitch. Dear Amy, I am a <laughs> happily married 27-year-old woman. About to have my first baby. Isn't that nice? Happily married 27-year-old woman. Here she is having her first baby. Isn't that nice? And the letter writer goes on. I am terrified because it isn't my husband's baby. Now, see if this story sounds like a call to the Tom Likas show. How did this happen? And, boys, I want you to pay particular attention to this paragraph because this is something I've been warning you about. Last spring, another woman and I took a trip to the Bahamas. And a couple of penis coladas, I guess. At the hotel, I had a massage and was seduced by the masseur. I tried to resist, but I guess I got carried away. And I like the way she tries to remove herself from responsibility here. She says, I sort of cooperated once things got started. You saying you were raped? <laughs> Come on. Come on. After some prenatal tests, my doctor recently told me that the baby's blood type is different from both my husband's and mine. Which means the baby is not his. When the baby is born, it will be very obvious. My husband and I are white. And the masseur is black. Ooh. You can't try to slide this one by him. The letter writer goes on to say, I can't tell my husband. I think that he would leave me. It's too late for an abortion. Well, why the hell do you wait this long, you idiot? What can I do? Please advise me, sign pregnant and scared. <laughs> now I'll save you the time of reading the entire response from Amy. She does recommend that uh, the letter writer tell her husband about this, saying, you simply have no choice. She says, however, it would be helpful for you for to uh, rehearse this conversation with a trusted friend or professional counselor. 
She suggests you and your husband should discuss this in a neutral environment. Planned Parenthood offers pregnancy and adoption counseling. Counselors working for this agency have seen it all, and you will not be judged. <laughs> Is anybody out there stupid enough? Let me just ask this question. Raise your hands, boys. Is anybody out there stupid enough to stay in a situation like this? This has nothing to do with what race the baby is or what race you are. Because, frankly, I don't care what the race is. What I care about is you are married. I love the way she uses the phrase happily married. Yeah, she's happily married, but she went to the Bahamas and got some pipe laid. Oh, yeah, she's happily married. And by, by the way, boys, let's not let this slip by. You can't let the girls go to places like the Bahamas or Cabo or Puerto Vallarta or anywhere spring break is taking place. Key West, you name it, can't do it. Any woman who still needs to the vacation with the girls, he's not mature enough to be married. And you shouldn't be married to somebody like that. And if a woman threatens to go on vacation with the girls, it's time to tell her, when you come back, the locks will be changed. It's that simple. I will not be here when you get back, or I am changing the locks. That's what you got to do. There are no vacations with the girls in places like this. You know, if the girl's going to go on vacation to a log cabin up in the mountains, light a fire, okay, you know what? I'm not an unreasonable, controlling idiot. I, you know, if the girls want to go to some quiet place, if the girls want to go to her parents' house and have a slumber party, okay. When the girls start telling you to go into Cancun, it's time to go. Don't wait for the result of that. It's time to go. Yes, Dean, in Vegas also. No Vegas trips with the girls. Sorry, when you get married, the, the Vegas trips with the girls are over. If you're not ready to stop doing the Vegas trips with the girls, you're not ready to get married, girls. You, you still haven't gotten it all out of your system. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having it gotten out of your system. Just don't be going places like this once you get married. Don't be doing that. It's that simple. And men, why would you tolerate that? Okay, that's first of all. Whoever this slut is married to, it was an idiot for being there when she got back. He's an idiot for being there when she returned from the Bahamas. All right, so he stayed. If he finds out this baby isn't his, is there any doubt about what he should do? Out! Out. O-U-T, out. Don't be paying to support this baby. What a slap in the face. There you are married and you get a child who's clearly not yours. I don't care if he's a different color or not. I couldn't care less. What a slap in your face. What a slap in the face of your manhood. What a pussy you would be if you stayed there and took that. I don't have children. I've never wanted to have children, so I've never had to confront an issue like this. But all I will tell you, boys, is if you insist on being married, this is completely 1,000% unacceptable. No amount of counseling, no amount of crying, no amount of begging, no amount of hand-wringing, no amount of getting on her knees, no amount of promising it will never happen again is enough. You can't stay in a situation like this. She should spend the rest of her life in a living hell paying for what she did. Don't you think? Tom, Tom, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Hello? 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 The Tom Likas Show. Ah! It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Rhonda. Hello. Hello? Yes. Oh, hi there. Hi, Tom. This is Rhonda in Scottsdale. Yes. Hi. I have uh, just one comment to make about your closing statement. Your closing statement was the, the woman should live in hell. Um, I don't know about all the rest of it, but I do. If I, if I had my way, I would build a facility for all these women to come to, 
and they can start all over again with nice little places for their children to play and computers and places to restart their life. That is Who my do you opinion. propose would pay for this? I haven't quite figured that out yet. I'm well, no one ever does. That's my point. Well, somebody, somebody will help me someday. You can afford to go to the Bahamas on vacation. You can afford to pay for your own way. I've never been to the Bahamas, and I've never been on a vacation. Yeah, well, guess what? The mother of this bastard child has been to the Bahamas. I don't think any children are bastards. Well, I, that's your opinion, dear, but the dictionary says otherwise. I really don't have any opinions. That, that's pretty obvious. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Good. Um, I was wondering if you felt the same way about um, boys taking trips together. Depends on where they're going. Like, if the, as I said earlier, if the girls want to go to a log cabin, uh, I also think the guys should be able to go to a log okay. cabin or go fishing. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm talking about Vegas. No, I no, I, the guys going to Vegas, uh, once, if you're going to get married, now I, I now have said guys really shouldn't be getting married. Yeah. But uh, if they do, that is when you've gotten Vegas with the guys out of your system. Good. Now I can tell my husband, Tom, like you said, it was a bad idea. But it's the same for you. <laughs> no Vegas. Well, I don't go to Vegas. All right, but, yeah. but, but you shouldn't be doing it. No Cabo, no Cancun. Yeah. I no. went camping with the girls. That's that's what I did. No. That All was right. Three years ago. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. I, I, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody gets, well, a bunch of my girlfriends went to Vegas, and uh, all of them ended up cheating on their husbands. I'm glad I didn't go on that trip. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. Well, good. I'm, I can uh, tell my husband that Tom said Vegas is out of question. He should have done it before we got married. That's right. Just like a threesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Sarah. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Pete on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What up, Tom? Hey, Pete. Hey, I have a, I have a good point. Um, you know this lady? If she wouldn't really uh, made it an issue unless the kid was black, but, you know, you got to remember, if, if he wasn't black, he would have just let the sucker raise the kid. And, uh, by the way, that happens a lot. Uh, we've heard numbers anywhere from 6 to 30%. Of all births happening inside of a marriage, uh, the, 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 the husband is not the father. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, this is just ridiculous. This, this bitch wouldn't even, oh, it just makes me mad. Anyway, Tom, thank I'm you. I'm thrilled it happened to her. I hope she's miserable. Yep. Miserable. Just miserable. Patty on the Tom Likas show, Hello. Hi, Tom. This is my first time calling in. Fantabulous. Yeah, well, my first word uh, about this is, is ill. I, I couldn't even imagine doing something like that with my, like, OBGYN or my dentist. or This is a masseuse, for crying out loud. Oh, so if she met somebody at a bar, that would be more advertising to you. Well, not really. <laughs> but still, it's a one-time thing, and it's still ill. I mean, it's it's gross too. How can she? I mean, obviously she believed in adultery. She doesn't believe in abortion either. Well, I think what happened here is that she got the blood test down the line of the pregnancy. Yeah, but she. So her plan, her, her plan, her plan was back. to slide this one by. Like in other words, she was hoping that that, that the husband was the father. No, no. And now, of course. No. She should have not, not taken any chances. That's right. She should have gone right down and got the abortion. But no, she yeah. was hoping it would be his kid and then no one would be the wiser. Yeah, well, now she's screwed up three lives. Yes. No, I don't if I were that husband, if I were that husband, I would be running, running oh. for the door. Yeah, I know. And if he decides to stay, he's a bigger man than most. Total moron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, yeah. But thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1 800 5800 Tom. It's Annette on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi. How are you, Tom? Great. Good. Hey, I just think she's an idiot. I mean, first of all, why wasn't she on birth control? 
And second of all, well, you see again, it's that it's that Virgin Mary thing that women love to do. You know, she was on birth control because she was trying to have a baby with her husband, and of course she would need birth control going to the Bahamas because she was not going to screw around. This just kind of happened. It washed over her like a tsunami. No, that just doesn't happen. I've been married for 24 years, and sure, you can get into situations where you might have a chance to cheat, but if you're true to your spouse and if you really are happy, you're not going to cheat. That's a big if. No. <laughs> if you're truly happy, you're not going to cheat. Well, she says she's happily married. She's happy. I know. I, I don't think that's a true statement. And she, She's an idiot, but I agree with you that nobody wants your marriage should take separate trips. No, absolutely. Yeah, it, really, if you're going to get married, plan on going to places like... Uh, like the Bahamas, together. Right. There's no going with the guys and going with the girls. Those days are over. If you can't say definitively that those days are over, you are not mature enough or ready to be married. Absolutely. That's so true. Thank you, Annette. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Appreciate the call. Men just have to put their foot down and say, I can't tell you what to do, but I'm not going to live with somebody who wants to do that. Just not going to. Most of you guys are pussies, and, and you tolerate this stuff, and I, it drives me mad. It drives me insane. Brooke on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great. Well, I agree with you 100%, and I think it's really cool that a lot of the women are calling in and agreeing, too. Um, I think it's really sad, though, because the baby is the one that's going to end up suffering, and, you know, the girl... That's just not right. <laughs> of course it's not right. It's just horrible, the whole situation. And I feel bad for the guy because he's probably been, I mean, he's been led to believe that it's his child, and that's just sad, sad. So I hope, you know, I don't want damn her to hell, but she will have she will have challenges ahead of her. Challenges? Big time. Hey, now, if you, by the way, do you disagree with me that the husband ought to just get out? No, I totally agree with you. I, I agree with you on the point of the whole going girls trips. Um, I don't think that's really a necessary thing. And I used to be pretty wild back in the day before I got married. But, um, you know, I think now there's bigger, I mean, there's, this is, that's not right. I don't, I agree with you 100% on men and women. I think that that's part of the challenge that uh, a lot happens with them, our world today. Yeah. It's just disrespectful all the way around, and that's too bad. I just do not understand. It. You know, people don't want to grow up. By the way, I'm one of them. Are you well, kidding me? I've got I've got two hot tubs. I've got uh, satellite dishes at my house. I've got every channel there is. I've got, uh, you know, uh, the wine cellar, and I love to drink wine and hang out and travel and party. And that's what I like. But, but here's the thing. I don't want to be married. Because if you get married and you want it to work, you have to stop doing a lot of that stuff. Yeah, but, Tom, you also have your priorities straight. And, unfortunately, a lot of people don't. And a lot of people get themselves into situations like They want to get different. married, but they want to live like they're single. And they want to go, go to Las Vegas and Cabo right. with their friends. Those yeah. days are over. If you feel the need to do that, do it before you get married. I agree. With don't you. get married until you're 40 if you have to. Or don't ever get married. I agree with you. <laughs> so, all right, Tom, you're awesome, and, you know, keep it up. Thank you so much. Appreciate the call. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. Guys dance to get in a girl's stance. Sounds like a bumper stick. I couldn't have said it better myself. I think you did. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's our telephone number. Let's continue with your telephone calls. Now she is pregnant with his kid. Doesn't know what to do. Danny on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay, Danny. I, um, I was driving right now. I just heard your topic. I'm, I'm living that right now. I just found out she hooked up with one of her coworkers, lived the life for like five, six months now, and it comes out that she, she, I finally had to get it out of her because she was acting like there was no problem. 
And uh, finally came clean. She said she got pregnant by somebody else. And so what did you do? That was it. Kicked her out. You kicked her out? How did she react to that? She didn't know what to say. She she brought brothers to try to help her out, but she was out. Yeah, I mean, I, there's no counseling. No, there, you can't. This is something I, I do not want to go to a counselor. If somebody did this to me, I am out. It's like you said it. I mean, it just insulted my manhood, and I just cannot forgive her for that. And uh, did she, like, try to go to uh, other people to get you back in? Did she try going to, uh, uh, I don't know, counselors, family members, people like that? No, no, I wasn't having it. Good for you. And did she try calling you after that? Uh, on and off. It's still trying to deal with all the mess from the marriage. But she just, I mean, just disrespectful in the way that she played me in, in, in the condition she left me. Now, uh, she just uh, responded because you kept bothering her about it? She just seemed very distant, distant and working a lot of hours. Um, hours were changing. I, I kind of sensed there was something going on, but I, she, she was playing mind games with me, saying it was me, that it was the way I'd been behaving recently, that I was being overly jealous. Um, just making it feel like it was all me. Wow. So what was it that got her to, to, to spill? So she, was, she finally said that she was going to leave me because of my, my, my temper. And I said, you've been long with, with me long enough to, to know my temper and the way I am. That's not the cause. You better come clean as to what, what your reason is for leaving. And she finally broke down and said that she was seeing somebody else and that she was pregnant. Holy cow. And she wanted you to stay. No, no. From that moment, moment, it was done. Oh, but no, but she wanted you to stay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, lived a life. Lived a life for like four months through the pregnancy. Uh, and, and I thought it was that it I mean, she literally was making me think it was me. Wow. Outrageous. Yeah, so, I mean, she left, and I, I'm, I'm dealing with the mess she left behind, you know? Totally amazing. So, so there's no, I, I, I don't think there's any way you could go to counseling. There's nothing you could do to change that. A absolutely not. I know I wouldn't even try. Wouldn't even try. Tom, um, can you take me out with a bong hit? Here you go. <coughs> it's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Kathy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yeah, I'm calling because my husband is a passionate listener of yours, and, well, um, he doesn't agree about this stuff because um, when I was eight months pregnant with our first daughter, he actually went to a bachelor party, and I told him he shouldn't be going because I may be giving birth any time, but he just still went ahead and went. And now I'm pregnant with our second child, and he actually went to – Another back to party when I was five months pregnant, but I went with him. And he was very, very pissed off. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm not staying home with a kid and being pregnant while you go out and party. But he thinks that I should stay home with a kid because that's my job. Well, but you know, I will bet you my uh, salary for this week that you did not sit down with him before the marriage and talk about this. No, I didn't. But I thought that he would understand that since I'm pregnant. Why would you? Un no, dear, stop. There is no understanding. Everybody grows up differently. We are raised differently. We have different prejudices, different uh, uh, the, uh, religions. We come from different countries. Our parents, grandparents come from different countries. Yeah, but so do you think he should have went to the bachelor party? I put it this way. Uh, men do go to bachelor parties. That they do. Well, that I agree with, but not when I'm pregnant, especially what when is, I was What does that have to do with it? Well, because I, I was eight months, and I was due any time, and he didn't even call me. And when I finally called him and I told him, asked him, why didn't you call me just to check up? He said, oh, I, I knew if I call, you'll be bitching. So I didn't want to call. And so so if I did call, you ruined my time. But you understand, dear. Um, see, part of being mature enough to get married 
I hate to say this to you, but no, I love saying it to you. Uh, the, the part of being mature enough to get married is sitting down and contemplating what might happen. Things that will change with time. Issues that will come up. Who will do the housework? Who will work? Who will pay for most of the bills? And uh, what happens if we have kids? Who's going to d- deal with that? You yeah, didn't, I mean, I you didn't do that. Day, but it's just... I want, so did you think he should have went, though? That's what I want, because he listens to you all the time. Do I think he should have gone to a, um, do I think that he should have gone to a bachelor party? Yeah, when I was eight months pregnant. Yeah, but I, I don't think the fact that you're pregnant has anything to do with it. I think it has a lot to do with it. Well, he should have why? Help me. Uh, help you what? In case I give birth. What if I gave birth when Here. I was eight months? How far away was he? Well, I live in the Bay Area, so he was in Vegas, so an hour and a half flight, probably. An hour? Hour away? And you were eight and a half months pregnant? Eight months pregnant. Eight months? You were a month away! Yeah, but you never know if I give birth. Dear, I think you were just trying to have a fight with him. So you'd be perfectly happy with him going when you're not pregnant. Well, no, I also said now that we're married, I mean, he he went to his bachelor party in Vegas when he was... When when he was when we were about to get married, and I said that's fine, I didn't care. But afterwards, I'm like, you know, you're you're my husband now, you're a father, you're gonna be a father of two now. Why are you still going to parties? And he's pretty, he's 31 now. I'm like, you should stay home and be a be a good father, be a good husband. Yeah, but the, the point is, dear, uh, I do agree with you uh, that going out with the boys to parties at singles bars, if they still have such a thing, or whatever meat market exists, dance clubs, or whatever, uh, that, that you should do when you're unmarried. When, right. But when you That's get right. married, but when you get, guys are gonna go to sports bars, guys are gonna go fishing, guys are gonna go play poker. And I don't think it's reasonable to expect them to give those things up. Any well, more, than, no, any more than I think it would be reasonable to tell you you can't go to a chick flick with your girlfriends or you can't go to Starbucks and meet a friend for a cup of coffee. It's, not, it, it's a matter of where you're going. Yeah, that I agree with. I just don't think he should go to bachelor parties anymore, especially when he's going to have two kids. Well, dear, that's who goes to bachelor parties. The merry men? All the yeah, generally most of the guys at the bachelor party are married or have girlfriends. And this guy is joining the ranks. He's yeah, he's like the last one to get married. He's one of the last ones to get married. That's generally what happens. <laughs> okay, that's I who goes. And to see what your opinion is, and I want to let him know that you think that he should he shouldn't be going to bachelor parties. I didn't say that. You said that. Well, then what do you think? What well, do you think it's wise or advisable for him to even go anywhere like that anymore? As a father. Well, a bachelor party is not the same thing, and it is something that, uh, by the way, I've never been to a bachelor party. But do you know why I've never been to a bachelor party? Why? Because I'm not into strippers. Uh, well, see, he said they're not into it. He just goes to sort of club and just hang out with the boys. Which I, I understand because he doesn't. He thinks those strippers aren't all that anyways. Well, they go where? To a nightclub or a strip club? Well, they usually just go clubbing, you know, like boys' night out kind oh, of well, thing. Well, I, no, I don't think going to, I think going to nightclubs where people hook up, that's something you do before you get married. And by the way, I don't think guys should get married, and therefore it would never be an issue. <laughs> but if you're going to get married, you really should at least try to make it work. And one way to try to make it work uh, is not to be going to nightclubs. Tom like his show, the one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Nicole. Hello. Tom. Yes. Hi, how are you? Great. I just want to let you know I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you. I think you're awesome. I think that um the things that you say are really true. Even though I don't agree with everything, I think you have really good points when you say what you say. Great. <laughs> I also um just wanted to make a comment of the late the last lady that called you know, about her husband going to bachelor parties and stuff like that. Um, I'm recently divorced. I'm 23. We had uh, two kids together. And I think it was probably one of the things that broke our relationship the most was the fact that I didn't ever want him going out anywhere. Poker nights, you know, sports bars, anything. 
And looking back on it now, I think that's probably one of the most important things that you can do is to have that time, you know, to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I understand all that. A lot of you want to have time to themselves, and I, I think that's great. So uh, places you can go would be the public library, uh, Starbucks. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> yeah, dear, if you need to be going out partying, it's too early to be having babies and getting married. Right. That's the bottom line. Right. And I if you're agree. married, it's time to go to the library and catch up on your reading if you need some time alone. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I'm just saying that, you know, like you said, you know, leave them their poker night. You know, I actually work in a sports bar now, and I kind of understand that I think a woman's mentality is when men go out without their wives or without their girlfriends, there are going to be other girls there that are going to be more attractive. And I, I didn't say to go. I, I didn't. Well, first of all, there were sports bars and there were sports bars. Now, here in Southern California, um, if you go to Pacific Coast Highway, or as we call it, PCH, Right, I'm uh, from Most, uh, all right, well, then most of the sports bars there are, are meat markets. Right. Uh, they don't even have the sound up on the games in a lot of those places. Right. But right. then again, there are places uh, that are sports bars where right. people are there to watch sports. Right. And uh, I think we all know the difference. Right. I'm just saying I think that, you know, in a relationship you've got to give, I mean, there's got to be trust, number one, I mean, or it's not going to work. Um, so, I don't know, I'm, I'm just saying, as far as the bachelor parties and things like that go, going to nightclubs and stuff like that, if you're going to go, go together. That's my opinion. That's, that's the bottom line. If you need, right. uh, and if you need time alone, you know, go to the top of the mountain. Right, go fishing, like you said, go hunting. Right. Have a poker night, have a, you know, I was even... Well, when people say they need time like alone, that. they're full of crap. They need time alone so the other people they might want to hook up with won't see you with your spouse. That's what they need time alone for. Tell you what, they'll call it MySpace for nothing. My email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. You got that? Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com or go to our website. It's BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com.